Hello everybody and welcome back. We are actually on our way to see our third house. We've been kind of seeing one house per month so we are pretty excited about uh, Weston's pumping gas out there. Um, we're pretty excited. I'm super excited. This is the first one that I found. Um, I didn't actually do a video of the last house we saw. So I did a video of the first house and then now we're on the third house. The second one, I don't know. I just, my iPad wasn't charged and yeah. So anyways, we're on to the third one and uh, it's a 45 minute drive. So we are hustling, but I'll have to tell you more um, on the way. That is a giant bed. It's like a, it's definitely a king. Yeah, it's like two four. Right off of the kitchen. <laughs> the bathroom's not so bad. Boy, I never thought I'd ever be too tall for a shower head. Oh gosh. <laughs> Holy crap, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I could eat it. Gotta get that adjustable. Right? Yeah. <laughs> um, so I don't know if you noticed, it is window AC. I did, yeah, see I did see that. Is with it already having central air, do you know if it's much <laughs> like since the infrastructure is there, how costly it is to install? It, like, as long as the ducting is there, that's the expensive part. Right. Um, and then you just buy well, buying a furnace. And okay, so last time I spoke to you guys, I was in the car on my way to the house. And now we are back. I have all these thoughts floating in my mind and I kind of want to tell you guys all about this house um, as we're strongly considering putting in an offer. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I want to talk about why this place seemed like a great location. So I really liked it for a few key reasons. It's really close to Weston's parents' house. This location in particular was only 20 minutes away. And then it's also 15 minutes from my gym, Pure Bar, that I love to go to. And then it was also super close to the, not only the public schools there, but also a Montessori school, which I'm really interested in sending my kids to. So those were really, really close by within 10 minutes, um, if that. And then after looking it up later, I found that there is listed um, to be no crimes list or reported in the last year um, in this neighborhood and in this area because there's actually a police station like right down the street. So very safe, which was um, very reassuring to me. There is a two car garage. Uh, that's something that is very important to us. We need to be able to park both of our cars in the garage. And I really like that this place looks a lot nicer in person than the pictures made it look. So that was a really great thing to see. However, um, this place is farther from Weston's job. This is an older house. It was built in 1947 and it is very outdated. So if we did end up buying it, it does need some major remodels. As you can see walking through, um, the front area would need a little pick-me-up and then uh, like that porched area. And then if we go farther in, the kitchen is extremely outdated. It's very small and just a lot of the areas are outdated. It needs new flooring because the floor is warped. If we go downstairs, the wall is actually bowing in the basement. So that would be something that we would have to fix at some point um, if we did want to try to resell it. And down in the basement, it, it did say there has been some water seepage. So that is something important to think about. Um, this place also doesn't have air conditioning. So we would have to put in about six thousand plus dollars to get that replaced although it did already have the bones for that uh, the other thing is remodeling is expensive so that would be something that we would have to strongly consider however this house was priced at two hundred and ten thousand dollars so it is definitely something that is at the 
bottom end of our budget. So we would have plenty of extra money that we aren't putting towards the mortgage and extra money in the front end to be able to put in repairs and do things like that that could build equity in the long run. You could yeah. definitely do that. Do well, like I feel it. like this kitchen could be an easy place to make some equity. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Kitchens are always top of yeah, the list. This is definitely... This is my um, most excited part. Garage or the basement? Cool. <laughs> The basement. This is wow. This is nice as I thought it was gonna be. I was fully expecting another murder dungeon. <laughs> Some other key things that I really liked is that they have the house is very like bright. Um, it is small, but it does have everything that you need. And if we go into the other parts of the house. Um, there is narrow stairs. The floor plan's not really that great. We are trying to look for more of an open floor plan. But again, this is our first, like, this is a cheaper house, it's small. It's not going to have everything that you want. And this is our first house, so it's not a big deal overall. Uh, the bathrooms aren't that great either, but again, old house, small, it's to be expected. Um, the yard was really nice. Uh, so the main reason that we actually went to go see this place, in addition to the price, is that it is on 0.86 acres, which you can't really find in the areas that we're looking, these more suburban areas, you know, with lots and lots of houses around, you're just not able to get those yard sizes. So seeing 0.86 acres was incredible, and we were super, super excited about that. Um, and then also in the backyard, they had a shed, they had a garden, lots of trees, and a little playhouse for the kids, which was so cute. Um, on the other end of that, the yard wasn't that great. Uh, because of all the trees, there's not really any grass growing, so we probably would need to cut down the trees. Otherwise, it was super cute. The price is such a steal. Uh, the only kind of big debate that we have is two main things. So while the price is super low, is there a reason for that? An unforeseen reason that we don't understand right now and is going to be an issue possibly later on. The second being that we know that if we wait until the end of December, we'll be able to afford a much better house. So are we being impatient? Are we going to be able to find something later on that maybe we, we end up liking more and we're happy that we didn't go with this place? So yeah, um, I'm really excited. I know we I talked about a lot of the cons, but that is to be expected with the price point that we're at and the older house. Um, but there are lots and lots of amazing things like the location is just amazing. And the fact that it's so cheap is incredible. So we're super excited and I'm gonna come tomorrow and tell you guys what our plan is. So yeah, we have a lot more talking to do. Obviously there is a very big con list so we need to really go over that, go over our financials, look at more documents about the house, and then make the ultimate decision. So we're going to spend some time talking tonight, and I'll come back tomorrow and let you guys know what we decided. See you then! Big window. Yeah, I do too. I feel like it's looking a lot nicer, like... In person. In person than... Yeah. Oh, that was small. It is small, but for the price, I guess, like we've seen ones that are small that are <laughs> way, way more expensive. But sure. At least it seems like they're. It just seems like it's just, it's just always, these older houses, these types of basements are just always going to have moisture, just matter of how much. Yeah. Um, I haven't, I've been trying to see if there's any. Does it mean like deterioration or bubbling?
looks like they had to redo a beam or something. But um, they did nails. Yeah, it's pretty common. That's like homemade. I don't know if you noticed upstairs the floors were a little wobbly, uneven. Oh. And that's because the house was just so old and settled so much that they had to, yeah. Interesting. Boy, those are creepy. <laughs> Crawl stages, so up here it probably gets pretty dusty <laughs> during the hot summer days. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not a fan of those little crawl stages. Are there stages. windows up here at least? Yeah, there's. Like, I don't know, concerns that you're seeing that the maybe. The kitchen's my biggest concern. It, it's kind of a weird entryway coming into from the garage into the kitchen into the basement. That, that project could get bigger than you expect. Yeah. Because uh, once you get a contractor out here, maybe he wants to redo that entire hallway as well, coming off the garage. I mean, that would give you space as well. Maybe you just had a door coming in from the garage, and then you did another door going down. That's where a contractor excels, not me. Um, but typically, it's like 15 to 20 for a kitchen. That could easily jump to 30 if you're doing extra little projects like that. Move right. the wall out. That's probably load bearing. Hey everyone. So we decided that we are not uh, going to put in an offer for the house. And this came after a lot of debate because this house, like I said before, was such a good price. And not only was it an amazing location, but it could have been a really great starter home. And there was a lot of things like the yard and the location that I was having a really hard time seeing past that. But we ultimately decided that the renovations and the possibility of having to put in a lot of money to make it our home I don't know. There was just something that we felt like this wasn't the one. And uh, last night I had messaged our realtor and asked if we could have a phone call today to talk about putting in an offer. And I ultimately decided um, to text him and say that we weren't interested in putting in an offer. And uh, he did tell us that they did call for the best and highest offer today at 6 p.m. So it definitely was one that was going quick. Um, it literally went up on the market yesterday. We went to go see it yesterday, yesterday evening actually. And then, yeah, after 24 hours, so tonight it is going to be having an offer accepted on it. So. It was definitely something that we had to move quick if we were interested and in a way I kind of wish this was a video about me being like we put in an offer for our first house Woo! Um, but I'm also happy I think this this could have been a really great opportunity but I think we really want to save some more money and so I'm glad that together we Weston and I spoke and decided that this wasn't the best investment financially for the two of us and that we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. Our realtor said that we should check out five places at least and this was only our third place. So uh, we have a couple more places to check out. We have been doing like one place per month. So uh, this was September, our third place. So we should be moving on to looking at, I guess in November, we'll hit our fifth place that we'll look at if we're going month by month. Um, so then by the end of December, we will have, we will have uh, enough money to purchase our top. And so then we'll have lots of opportunity to look at many different options. So I'm really excited for that. I think, ah. <laughs> I think I just don't want to get ahead of ourselves. And yeah, um, and, you know, it's kind of funny. 
Weston doesn't really like to be in videos. He finds it awkward to talk to the camera. So that's why I do most of this documenting. But he did say that, you know, he is really open to buying pretty much anything that has a garage <laughs> um, and a decent enough yard. So that's kind of what he was telling our realtor. And last night I said, we need to make this decision. And he shared a lot more of his concerns and you know he does have more investment into this than just like oh yeah whatever if it if it has a house like if it has four walls i'm good so that's not really the case and um i'm glad we really spoke about it we're really a team in this case and so i'm really really happy that we did take the time to truly discuss you know in our relationship what this is going to mean for us and it ultimately just didn't fit in with the plans that we are hoping for so anyways we didn't put an offer in we're not planning to and we are going to continue our search so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this though it was quite the emotional roller coaster from the minute i found it to going there to making the decision that we were gonna put in an offer we were pretty positive i even texted that to our realtor and then um, making that tougher decision to say that we weren't going to so yeah um that's kind of where we're at third house so let's keep on searching and um, i'm excited to see what else is going to be out there in the next few months so we'll catch you in the next one bye guys